Welcome back to this special episode of Champion Secrets. Today is special because I'm gonna be sharing with you my personal trick shot. A lot of you have been asking for trick shots, so your wish is our command. Now this is, I call it my personal shot because the coach who taught it to me, I didn't know that I had made it so much different than they had intended it to be until I saw them several years later and I was showing them the shot and they said, that's not the shot I showed you. So this is how shots that coaches can help you with can morph into your own moves. So you wanna give your own flavor and your own spin to all the shots when you're playing because when your personality comes through and you're creative with it, that's when signature moves are gonna come out. And those are usually gonna be the ones that are most unique and also a lot of fun to hit especially when your opponent doesn't get it. And I have to brag about a particular China Open Super Series when I had the honor of playing two-time Olympic champion Zhang Ning. I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly, but Zhang Ning won gold in Athens in 2004 and gold again in Beijing in 2008. And it wasn't necessarily a close match when I played her. It was back in uh, a few years ago, but I'll never forget that I did fake her out on this shot and she stopped and she looked at me like how dare you don't you know who I am and it was a moment we shared that was really really cool and a special privilege for me because it's not every day you get to fake out the Olympic two-time gold champion. So the purpose of this shot is to draw your opponent into the net. You make them think like you're going to hit an in to out net shot but Instead of hitting the in to out net shot, you double back and lift it over their heads. So it's almost like fishing. When you're playing deceptive and trying to use trick shots, you have to know what shot you're trying to show in order for the variation to be effective. And it has to really look like the one shot in order to lure your opponent to that area. You're drawing them in like a fish to the bait. And then when they take the trap, you pop it over their head. Or if you're trying to hit it long, you put the bird in a position where they don't expect. So to set this shot up, we're gonna imagine that the bird is approaching me at the net. I prefer to do this on the backhand side, although the same can be done on the forehand. It just doesn't feel quite as easy. But it's also effective. So I imagine that the flight of the shuttle is coming towards me and I start on the inside as if I'm gonna hit the in to out net shot. And it's really important that I wait as long as possible before beginning the lift portion of this shot because the longer I wait, the longer I lure and hold my opponent, then the more effective the lift shot is going to be. Let's take a look at some. And it has to really look like I'm gonna hit the net shot into out. But then I add the fake. And you can hit it straight or cross. The longer I wait, the longer I lure and hold my opponent, the more effective the short motion of the lift is gonna be. So that's what my favorite and signature trick shot looks like. Try this on your own. It's easiest to try it with a partner throwing at you at first and combining it with the in to out net shot and get feedback from your training partner because you might not think it's effective, but for the person standing on the other side, they can tell what's faking them out and what's not. So have fun with this shot and I'll see you in the next episode.